welcome back to another video and today with the Acer Store Flash Store 12 Pro. It has a Intel Quad Core CPU, 4GB of RAM, at the front a USB 3.2 Generation 2, at the back a 10 gigabit Ethernet port, two USB 2.0 ports, optical out, one USB 3.2 Generation 2, HDMI 2.0B and a DC in. So this is a awesome NAS unit that packs 12 NVMe SSD slots and although it's awesome, it's not alone. Twelve two terabyte Savrant Rocket NVMe PCE M.2 Generation Three and sixteen gigabytes Savrant Rocket DDR4 Saw so Dim at three thousand two hundred megahertz. So the goal for today's video is to populate the FlashStore Twelve Pro with all the 12 NVMe SSDs from Sabrent, do the RAM upgrade and also the initialization of the NAS. That being said, let's go for it. And here they are, 12 Savant Rocket NVMe SSDs ready to go inside the Acer Store Flash Store 12. In the meantime, I removed six screws that four of them were right over here and two of them were here and here, which will give us access to the inside of the Flash Store 12. Now, the first part we will open is this one right over here. We just need to slide and there's a really curious thing. Can you see that USB thumb drive right over there? It's a really genius design to make a fan detachable. So as you can see, we've got a real small fan right over here, which will be used to cool down the SSDs and we don't need to remove any wires just a small USB that when we plug it in right over here it will push inside another USB, female in this particular case, and it will make the fan work. Just a simple design that works really well. And inside, wow, we have space for six NVMEs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just awesome. And then when we put on the side, we just remove the top cover and there we go 7 8 9 10 11 and 12. now another simple touch which i did love we can see these leds right over here and the connectors here so if we take a look at the board we have the connectors right over here so another simple touch by hazel start that just makes some things that we tend to complicate really easy as this and nice looking let's put in the ssd so we can go by the order. One of the things that I do love on Asus Store latest devices is we don't need screws. So we, so we just need to push the small plastic right over here and bam, there we go. Two SSDs inside with four terabytes capacity, six terabytes capacity, full populated. This is the Flash Store 12, which takes 12 NVMEs, but there is also a more modest model which will take 6 NVMEs. I will leave a link down below, but we will talk about that on the main review. Let's populate with the next 6. So this is the number 7 and there we go. Just connect and push. We are populating with the 12 units, but if you want to purchase the Flash Store 12 Pro and put in one SSD and then grow with time, you can do totally that. So don't worry about if you don't have the budget to get all the 12 NVMEs, you can start with one or two and then grow along with your needs. We also have access to the dual DIMM slots and we can see right over here, but it comes with four gigabytes. So we are going to replace with the Sabrent eight gigabyte each. And if you never swapped a memory model is as easy as this, just put it in place and push it down. And the same with this one. And at this moment we have 16 gigabytes 
of RAM and 24 terabytes of NVMe SSD fast storage. Now let's close the Flash Store 12 and boot it up. Just connected the Flash Store 12 Pro to power to my 10 gigabit switch and I'm connected to my laptop via Thunderbolt adapter to 10 gigabit from Sabrent. And at this moment I pressed the button so that it could boot up and it looks really awesome when we turn it on it has this red theme on the side looks awesome all the leds are working and the first thing that i would suggest if you already know your ip address for the machine then great you can log in but if you don't we just need to go to the asus store website and download um, the desktop app either for windows if you are working on windows or in my case i'm using mac so there's the control center for mac which i'm already working here now if you follow the channel and if you don't i would suggest you to do so we have seen some several asus store devices which some of them are right over here working at this moment but the one that we want is the flash store which is right over here with this ip address and we will need to press the initialize which will take us to this page and to the configuration which as you will have the chance to see is really really easy so just a warning that all the data that we have on the ssds will be erased no issues they're brand new so i've got no data right over there let's press next i would do the update but at this moment for this particular video i will just initialize my NAS. So let's move ahead and yes, I've read the terms and conditions. Let's move forwards. Now at this moment we can select the appearance. I will select dark and we can select also the one click setup, but no, we will go to the custom setup press next which will give us more options. Now here I will just change the name to 24 TB. So Okay, this is appropriate. The Flash Store 12 Pro with 24 terabytes. Enter account name. I would suggest something different than admin. But for the video, once again, this is more than enough. Hopefully it will accept. Yes, it did. Now, my time zone is not this one. It's this one right over here. 12, no, I prefer 24. And all the rest I can leave like this. So let's move ahead. Network settings, I will obtain an IP address automatically at this moment. And then later on, if I want, if I decide that I want a fixed IP, which is always advised, then we will be able to do so. Or if you decide that you already know the IP address, you can put it right over here. In my particular case, I'm going to leave it like this. Let's move. And now we will need to select the RAID mode that we want. Now, I would suggest probably a RAID 5 configuration right over here. But it's also interesting because we are working with SSDs. And depending on the kind of data that we are putting right over here, as we have 12 units, it's interesting that we can put it as single. And I can select just one and I will give it a volume so I know exactly where I'm putting my data but this is something that you will have to realize if you need help to that just leave some comments down below we will get back to that topic but at this moment we are going to select the RAID 5 configuration which will give us a total of 20 terabytes available for capacity and a redundancy that will allow us to lose up to two disks which i believe that will be something really remotely because these drives are just awesome in terms of duration in terms of speeds in terms of everything but nonetheless always have in mind the backup so that we don't lose the data but once again depending on the kind of data that we have and now i just need to confirm and start the initialization which will take probably a couple of minutes, but for you, it will be a couple of seconds. So if this is my first ASUS store I want to register, I already have, but I'm not going to log in now, so I will register later. In my particular case, I will log in later. Start, and here we are. Now, I'm going to leave this update for later. I will continue, and I will agree to do so. If it's the first time, then we can check it out. But at this moment, we can check the system information. We have the flash star working right over here at 2 gigahertz with system temperature of 60 degrees, CPU temperature 74 degrees because it did push a little bit on this process. And at this moment, it's actually working. If we go to the storage manager, we can see the 12 
Sabrent SSDs right over here, all of them working great. If we go to the volume, we can see that the synchronization of the RAID is taking place, so it's writing on all of them. And if we go to drive, we can have a check right over here on the temperatures, 57, 52, 58, 48. I'm not hearing the fan we hear when it boots up but at this moment i'm not hearing but these are all things that we are going to test out on the main review so just stay tuned to the channel for that i'm going to test out the maximum writes and reads right over here and we will check out the temperatures and noise levels and all that that you enjoy to know and me as well that being said hope that you guys enjoyed this first video regarding the asus star flash star 12 pro the insertion of the 12 sabrens ssds with 24 terabytes and also the upgrade with the 16 gigabytes of ram and on the following videos we will be taking a deeper look into it so if the video was helpful in some way don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one